Thomas Glatton. Um, thank you, Lord Mayor, and thank you all for being here and letting me say a few words on behalf of the team from the project. But most of all, for giving me the chance to say thank you to the people for their dedication and hard work of helped create what you see today. I've written a few notes because I do have a habit of digressing. So, to digress, <laughs> I knew this morning when I woke up, it was going to be a very special day. Two big reasons. One reason, my wife made me wear a tie, and I've never wear a tie. And secondly, one of my daughters, Grace, who aptly named, actually got out of bed and is here today, prior to midday. So we're all on. Um, okay, so where do we start? I've been asked to speak about how we design a project like this. The simple answer is lots and lots of research. And then some more research to check that the research was right, and then finally double check the research for the research with Michael Gallagher, who I believe is here today. Uh, Michael. Now Mike is Cunard's official historian, he's, he's here today with us and we also have a stonemason hiding around the back for any spots, obviously the obvious mistakes we made. Mm -hmm. One of the things we also tried to do is design with a degree of humility and respect. Respect for the building behind me here and for all the people who built this amazing race. And respect for all the people who ever worked for Cunard. Ultimately, we wanted to create something that is befitting such an important place. So, detailed research is incredibly important, and a whole lot of thinking and discussing happens before even a pen is put to paper. But at the same time, it's incredibly important for us that the designers of its time, contemporary and sharp, are looking for a positive future. Hopefully the work will stand the test of time and be judged favourably in the future by the welcoming people of Liverpool and all its visitors. Sorry, please, please. Oh, 50. <laughs> the layout of the space takes its cue from the rhythm of the building and the pavement is inspired by a combination of the original details around the adjacent George Scott building over here and streamlined modern movement of the ballroom floors of the Cunard liners from the 1930s. 
The amazing history of Cunard, the ships and the human stories behind them have inspired us to create the voyage with our fellow designers at Smiling Wood. The work etched in bronze and stone you can see along the seat today. There were so many great stories, we could have built a bench at least five times as long as this, but for a jeep, obviously, we had to stop somewhere. But we've only just touched the surface with some of the truly fascinating stories. The fact that Charles Dickens made his first visit to America in 1842 on the Britannia. A Cunard wooden paddle steamer with burning embers flying out of the funnel on the heaving deck and heavy seas he feared for his life. However, the price of brandy was a consolation on board. A 12 and a half pence a pint. The Arabia transported 203 horses at a time, swinging hammocks on the ship to the Crimea in the 1850s, including the ill-fated horses of the Light Brigade. The Queen Mary, built to carry about 3,000 passengers, in 1943 carried 16 and a half thousand troops from America, the largest number of people ever recorded on the ship to the even to this day. Okay, I could go on, but this is the important bit for me, and some big thank yous to everybody involved. It takes a lot of skill and dedicated people to bring something as great as this together. Firstly, a big thank you to Liverpool City Council, our client for having the vision to start the ball rolling back in November last year and seeing it through to today. And in particular, Simon and James from Liverpool City Council has been a positive and calm influence, overseeing everything with amazing can-do attitude. So thank you, James. A big thanks to Smiling Wolf, our friends and fellow designers of the voyage on the benches, particularly Simon and Mike, whose ever thoughtful inspirational work is a huge part of what you see today. Thank you to Amy for all their invaluable work managing and engineering the whole project in a relatively short space of time. In particular, David and Chris have been ever present to help solve any issues that have arisen. And a huge thank you from the whole team for often the unsung heroes on any project, the guys who actually built it, King Construction. Lee and Matt and their team have worked miracles to be able to this important birthday for Queen Art and the return of Queen Elizabeth without letting the quality of work slip at any point. A big thank you to Hardscape, the company who supplied all the paving but most of all put a massive shift in to actually make the benches you see today in just a few weeks. Finally, the guys back at BCA Landscape have worked their socks off on this, ultimately to create a new public space for our city, a city that we work in and live in and love. And a particular mention goes to Cray, has been a big part of everything we see today from start to finish and is now our very own official ship bothera. So finally to thank everyone who's helped in any way, sorry if I missed you out, if I did, sincere apologies, I owe you a pint. And thanks again for letting me say a few words, have a lovely day, thank you.
every day you've got the jam behind you, Captain, so you'll be all right. Might be a bit sticky. Yeah. Yeah, just slide over. Don't stand on it. Squeeze in. Just a little bit side on. That's it. A little bit side on. That's it. Right. Okay. Test the thousands now, folks. That's it. That's nice. Big spas, everyone. Just remember the sun shining. That's it. That's lovely. All at me. That's it. Keep smiling. Excellent. That's good. That's brilliant. Captain, that's it. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. 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 Lord God, we dedicate this bench to Cunard's past and future in this city. We ask you to bless this bench, that it may be a reminder to all who see it of the relationship between Cunard and the city and of Liverpool's openness to the world beyond. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.